So the roll call group calls, guys, will be one time a week. I'm going to get into the recap, the calendar optimization, which if you're not optimizing your calendar, you're doing yourself a huge disservice here. Uh, you're going to reach your goals a lot much faster if you can optimize your calendar and use it for your advantage. Use it for your um, for your you know benefit, not just to put events on there or when you work or a dentist appointment. So I'll go over that in a second. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Manoon, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. And so today is all about calendar optimization. Now let me ask you, what do you use your calendar for? What do you use it for? Do you use it for like events? Do you use it for like your work day? Like this whole time I work, you put it on there. Do you even use your calendar? Do you even use your calendar? Obviously, if you're my client or if you're in a Mind Body Performance training app, you understand that the calendar is what we focus on a lot. The calendar is what we focus on because that's where your workouts are. That's where your habits are if we're tracking habits. That's where our, you know, where I can go in there and see what you ate for that day. The calendar, and if you're not in my program, Google Calendar, right? Are you tracking? Are you um, scheduling your workouts? Are you scheduling prep, you know, meal prep times? Like, all right, Wednesdays, I prep my food. I grocery shop at this time on Wednesdays. I cook for this long. Like, are you putting that inside of your calendar because you should and i'm saying that because i've seen um you know over the last few years you know me personally i've used this ever since i started working out it, it helped me become more clear and what i'm seeing with clients is it, it's giving them not only like clarity but like something to look forward to you know like someone like oh you know i could you know i have, I have this meal prep on wednesday because usually if they're doing meal prep on wednesday i don't have them work out so I just have – that's the workout is get it going to grocery store meal prep. So like I'm going to the grocery store today. I'm going to grab my, my oatmeal. I'm going to grab my chicken or my meat, whatever you're grabbing. Or if you're vegetarian, I'm going to grab my tofu or my, my vegetables, my, you know, my quiche, um, whatever you're getting. And, you know, it's just more – it's something to look forward to instead of like, oh, I forgot. I have to go grocery shopping today. Oh, I forgot. I got to work out today. You know, you have it on your schedule. You have it on your calendar. And your calendar becomes a tool. It becomes a resource. So I highly recommend, that's what we went over during the, the, the roll call was calendar. You know, have a calendar, have a schedule, have a routine. Um, if you're not sure what to do, ask. There's a comment box. But, uh, you know, get into a routine. Get into a, habit, a habitual routine where it's not, you're not even thinking about it anymore. You know, that's basically what I try to use the calendar for. You know, whether I'm bulking because it's bulking season, uh, whether I'm cutting, you know, I'm trying to lose some fat, or whether I'm trying to, you know, learn how to build a website or learn how to edit a video or learn how to, whatever I'm trying to learn, is I'll just add that stuff into the calendar. Like I'll add, you know, my reading time, read an hour before bed, go to sleep at 12, you know, by 12. If you're trying to read for an hour, then you got to read around 1030, right? 1030, 11. Um, sometimes, you know, depending on how serious I am, I'll even put my shower time in there. You know, I wake up here, I shower, you know, brush my teeth, do all that stuff. It takes about 30 minutes. Put that in the calendar. So I got to do that, right? And then my, my commute time. I got to commute. So my commute time is in there. What can I fit in? Let's say you, you commute for an hour at work, 30 minutes at work. What can I fit in during that 30 minutes? You know, I'm not trying to get all crazy here. I'm not trying to go to, like, you know, be productive every second of the day, which is not a problem. But um, – during that 30 minutes every single day, are you just listening to the same songs you always listen to? Are you listening to the radio and the news that's giving you bad news, making you feel a little anxious? Or are you reading a book? Are you listening to an audio book? Are you listening to something that's going to improve your life, not, you know, not slow it down? Try to find things. Try to find these little pockets in your day where you can add, all right, I, I was always trying to read for an hour a day, but before bed, I always get tired. You know, I'm not really feeling it. But... I found 30 minutes of my commute to and from work. So those two 30 minutes combined to an hour. Now I'm listening to an audiobook or reading for an hour, you know, virtually because I'm now consuming that content through my commute. You see how you can kind of you can kind of switch up your routine like that. 
So I highly recommend you use your calendar. Don't let it use you because I promise you, if you have nothing in your calendar, somebody will come and fill that for you. Whether it's advertising, telling you to go buy something, whether it's social media, you're just scrolling through it, whether it's your boss, like, oh, you know, work, coworkers, oh, you got time? Can you, can you cover my shift? You know, oh, you got time? Can you watch my dog? You got time? Can you, you know, when you have time, when you have idle hands, they say the devil, it's the, it's the devil's at work. When you have idle hands, that, that's, those are the hands that the devil likes the most, idle hands. Because if you're not doing anything, you're kind of just wafting in the air like a leaf, like a leaf. So get your calendar ready, get your calendar organized, optimize it for your goals. So like obviously you don't want to just be putting stuff in there and doing stuff that's not going to be helpful for your goals. And then stick to that routine. It's a lot easier to stick to a routine once it's on the calendar, I promise, than if it's not. So you always got to remember the stuff, you always got to... You know, it's not like you thought about going to school when you went to school at 8 o'clock. They said be there at 8 o'clock, so you were there at 8 o'clock. You know, you didn't think about, oh, like, should I go to math class at 2 or 2.15? No, the class starts at 2, so I'm going to go at 2. I ain't going at 2.15. You know, so you, you get to, you get to, you know, you, you get used to that time and doing that stuff at that time. And then you get into that, again, that habit, the habitual routine. So try that out. Just a 1% change can really make a huge difference. And then this is that second point, is like accountability is good. You know, a lot of people hear discipline, right? They hear discipline and think it's like a bad thing. Oh, you're gonna get disciplined. Because when you're a kid, like, oh, you gotta get disciplined, right? They think it's like a bad thing or they don't like the sound of discipline. Discipline is the key to your freedom, my friend. All right, discipline is the key to your freedom. So if you're disciplined on your calendar, you put those things in, you work out in the morning, you know, you take your shower, get ready for the day in the morning, you go to work from this time to this time, maybe during your lunch break, that's another time to relax, do you, or read a little bit of the audio book on the commute back, you know, you got time to do something on your phone, maybe you're listening to a live from Coach Malik on the Workout Warriors group, um, or maybe you are listening to a podcast or something, or maybe you're just relaxing, it was such a stressful day where you do need the music to just chill out and drive home. And just relax. And then when you get home, if you're a nighttime workouter, maybe you need that pre-workout music to pump you up for when you get home. Because now when you get home, you got to get your workout in because it's in the calendar. You know what I mean? You hear me? So highly recommend. Use your calendar. It's been 10 minutes. I try not to make these longer than 10 minutes, uh, these lives. Just so you guys can consume them real quick. Pop it in, download the information, and then get on to your day. So comment down below your next question that you'd like me to answer next video. And I appreciate you guys watching. Workout Warriors, you guys are amazing. Keep on working out and keep on being warriors. Love you and I'll talk to you guys next video.